you, man. I'm about to beat your ass, bro. Welcome you to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got a good NFC. I'm about to beat your ass, bro. Watch. Now, watch this. Then turn your fucking mic off, man. Talking about they be bailing you out. They bail me out. Fuck out of here. My fucking team, my Giants on paper offense is a 72. I'm talking about, yeah, you, 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 get the fuck out of here. Watch this shit. ahead for about four second down coming up well on every play call you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game trying to establish the inside run run with toughness now hopefully get to the perimeter later and let's face it you could do worse than a four yard run on first down following the pickup of four here's second and six yards short of the first as the three yard gain brings up a third down. The slot man in motion right. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. And they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. just saw there analytics really starting to creep into the game because more and more teams are saying the more you go for it the better your odds of getting it the better your odds of scoring six points instead of three they took a chance there it just didn't pay off yeah right here the anti-analytics guys go thumbs up they're throwing to start the drive but that one incomplete as defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Mariota. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 37 yards. That's another play right there that you saw me running. Right there. That's another play. Like, you got my whole shit, bro. You really, yo, that's another play right there. That one there for big yardage. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. 
Mariota looking deep downfield. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown. Kyle Pitts, 46 yards. And the Falcons use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. He finds his man complete. It's James. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. Call that a loss of seven to bring up fourth. I'm not quite sure they got the spark that they wanted on third down. In fact, I think they gave that spark to their opponent instead because that big stop has galvanized the sideline and it starts their offense out with some momentum. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he is going to have the Giants first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. <laughs> but, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York had the option to hand that one off a runner himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Extra point try, good by Gano. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Bird to return from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Yeah. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw Mariota. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. On first and 10, here's Mariota. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. This gain not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they've got it with a first and 10. to about the 44-yard line. Second and nine from the 44. Throwing is Mariota. Another completion right back to Patterson. He'll get it inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Yeah, big play there. When you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their head space is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one right. You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Mariota again. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Giants are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They got the ball now, following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Now Jones. He'll get this into the hands of Breida. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Throwing Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action 
Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Avery Williams deep for Atlanta. Taken from just outside the 30. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it will be Falcon football. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. But they find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. On second and 11 now, Mariota. And his throw here is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mariota to throw it. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, it's Barkley. They juked him. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Barkley inside handoff. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And I think the ball's out. And the Falcons grab it. Breaks fighting through, and he's got space. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up first and goal at the five. Hey, whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are, and now a terrific opportunity inside the five. They'll run with Patterson. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Cordero Patterson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Ku able to connect on the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Ku to kick off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. On second down, here's Barkley. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Here's a give to Barkley, and he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds its way back to him. But atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. And they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. though that was some hey that was some real shit that you you sent all your people up and your linemen stopped a, a 94 speed guy and then I, I i thought about it like yo i should lay down kick the field goal but i'm like nah he should be able to score this man he 90 something speed on it on all, all this fast players is up the field there's no way he should you know what i mean stop me but to you that's real when, it's, when it, when it worked good for you, it's good, it's real, oh my God, but with me, it's, it's fake. That shit is crazy, man. That shit is crazy, bro. Right, where, man, come on. Pick that thing. What you looking at? Pick that thing. Uh -huh. Show me, bro. I don't believe. Look at this shit. He goes backwards. I can't make this shit up, bro. Oh, boy. Man. So you was just, oh, my God. I'm so good. To me, it's like, what the fuck is going on, bro? It's all right, though. I ain't no hater. I ain't no hater. Wasn't raised that way. I just get busy. I don't give a fuck you right there. So what? No user. You got no fucking user, man. That's what I'm talking about. You don't got no user, man.
You right, cause they could they fucking on a on a good read, a good a, Yo, why you keep cutting me off every time? Like that's some trolling shit, bro. Let's talk, bro. Yo, why you why you keep trying to cut me off? Every time I talk, you cut me off, bro. Like that's that's weird shit, bro. They didn't even give me no yards right there. Whatever. With the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Slings one that's incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And a quick throw here that's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. Well, that's one of the drawbacks of running the RPO. If those linemen go into run block mode, you can't throw it if they're more than a yard downfield. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. Throw right side, taken in by Bellinger. Touchdown, Giants! Daniel Bellinger, a 22-yard touchdown ground. And the Giants are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Get out the extra point, and we are tied at 14. the kicks away fields it right around the goal line and some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15 can't hear you bro set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line their halftime lead now evaporated we're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago and that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this is going to be a hard fought game now they just need to go out execute their game plan and keep moving Mariota now to throw on first down this one left side caught by Patterson and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mariota now. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
And the Giants are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. They set themselves behind the chains, trying to get it all back in one play, and it backfired. Didn't it feel like a pitcher working his way into a 3-0 count, right? You're behind. What do your coaches always tell you? Get it back one pitch at a time. In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time Ball at the 33, second and nine. Back to throw, Jones. Buying time to his left. And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Andrew Thomas, former first-rounder from Georgia, called for the penalty there. The Giants on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 14. He's got Bellinger, and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. So it's a gain of 12 there on the reception, and that's going to make it fourth down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Jones out to the flat, and that's caught. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Darius Slayton from eight yards out. And the Giants have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is now 21-14. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Bird to return from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. To throw is Mariota. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A first down throw for Mariota. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. To the air again, Mariota. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Kayvon Thibodeau. Pass the 20. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. 
little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. Bird will not bring this out, and the drive will begin at the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. From the gun, Mariota. And this pass is caught by London. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. It's not often that you'll find offensive and defensive guys that will agree on much, but one place they find common ground, you've got to protect or attack the middle of the field. And no one was there. What a big play moving it downfield. First down, Mariota. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Mariota. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. He's got a man. It's Berkser, the tight end. Touchdown, Falcons! Anthony Ferkser from 21 yards away. And the Falcons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Important extra point up and through. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And that one will. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done Challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. There he goes, left side. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? 
Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe, and now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Obviously, Charles, such an important, well-executed touchdown, and that caps off what has been a strong second half. Remember, they trailed at halftime. And how about the response? That's the type of thing that every team talks about before a season begins. Don't worry about the scoreboard at the half. Let's play strong in the second and come out and take the fight to our opponent. They did exactly that, and now they have the lead to show for it. Bird will not bring this out, and the drive will begin at the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out. When... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Fabian Moreau, and the Giants force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's going to loft one deep left side here. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Giants have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Get over the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Bird to return from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And what are the whistles for? Timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Mariota on first down. That's caught left side to tight end Pitts. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. One last shot now for Mariota. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes these teams... You weak, nigga. You weak, nigga. You weak, nigga. You weak, and I'm running back. Send an invite, nigga.